Dangerous levels of lead may be in some of the most popular toys on the market. In a study by the U.S. Public Interest Research Group, they found high levels of lead in two types of fidget spinners. Joining us now is Toxics Program Director Kara Cook-Schultz. You co-wrote this report, Kara. So explain to us why this study is so significant right now. The reason that it's so significant is that we're really concerned that children have these fidget spinners at their homes. And the fidget spinners contain levels of lead that are above the legal limits for children's products. Uh, and so that's a big concern to us. So if the lead levels are so high, how come stores, for example, like Target, are allowed to continue selling them? Well, this is one of the fidget spinners that you can find at Target, and if you'll notice, it actually says that it's for ages 14 plus on the box. If a toy is meant for people above the age of 12, it doesn't have any lead regulations on it. Um, unfortunately, as I said, uh, I believe that many children probably are playing with this toy. Uh, you can actually find it in toy aisles in different targets around the country, and you can find it online on Target's website, and it's recommended for children six and up. Mm, I, I, what I don't understand, though, is, I, Kara, what I don't get is, okay, so the toys are made for children that are 14 and older, but does that mean that you're not exposed to the same levels of lead that you would be if you were a child? I mean, in other words, lead is bad. Right. Yeah, you're totally right. Lead is bad. It's bad for adults. It's bad for kids. The reason that we're more concerned about children is that children are more likely to put toys like fidget spinners in their mouths. Children are more likely to play with them harshly. So they you know, rub them and scrape them against walls. And that gets the lead actually scraped off of the spinners and you can breathe it in. Mm. Um, so that's why I'm more concerned about children. But you're right. If you're an adult who thinks it's funny to put things in your mouth, you could also be exposed. So right at the end there, you just mentioned that on the website, Target has a different age range for this toy. Has Target or any of the other uh, stores that sell this responded to your study? Target has responded to a letter that we sent them last week, letting them know that we found these high levels of lead in these two spinners. Um, Target uh, responded in an email that they would not be taking the spinners off the shelves at that time. Um, they haven't responded to anything else so far. What to about me. what about Bullseye Toys, the company that supplies uh, these fidget spinners? Uh, they're based in Des Moines. Yes, Bullseye Toys uh, sent uh, my organization a letter back after we informed them about the high levels of lead in these two spinners, and uh, Bullseye stated that neither of these spinners is meant for children, and therefore the lead levels weren't a concern. When I heard about this study, and I thought about how ubiquitous these spinners were, you know, maybe uh, uh, seven, eight months ago, they Got seem to have here. died down a little bit. Uh, what I thought was, how many other toys are like this that we're not even really paying attention to because they're just not that popular? You test these toys. I mean, how dangerous are the toys out there? Well, every year my group does put out a, a Trouble in Toyland report. It comes out on the Tuesday before Thanksgiving. And we do a survey of different toys on the market that we're concerned about that might be unsafe. Uh, and you're right, uh, sometimes they're not as popular and they're not as much in the news. Um, and so people can check that report from us every year if they're looking for Christmas shopping or if they're worried about this issue. And uh, we'll keep looking for toys to try to make sure that they're uh, safeguarded. Do you see every year maybe you know one or two toys that really surprise you that you think, God, I, I can't believe that this made it to the shelves? Yes, so this year, obviously, it's the fidget spinners. Uh, that was a huge concern for me because, you know, I have nieces and nephews. They play with fidget spinners. I was surprised by that. Uh, in past years, we have seen toys where they're choking hazards. Um, obviously, parents are very concerned about choking hazards, mm. and we're surprised to find those on the shelves. Kara, mm. uh, explain what happens to people who experience a high level of lead uh, poisoning, for example, or who are exposed to lead. Yes, so uh, if you are exposed to high levels of lead all at once, uh, things that can happen include dizziness, um, you can experience shortness of breath, but the big concern with things like toys and lead is that you'd have long-term exposure. Uh, so that would mean 
IQ loss. That means wow. memory loss. Uh, that means you know you can have trouble in school because um, it being exposed to lead can actually cause uh, disorders for attention and learning disabilities. And I know that parents are, are really worried about those things. So um, that's why we're worried about this chronic exposure so to lead. Reversible. Yeah, and I think it's particularly troubling because sort of initially, you know, there was a lot of talk about how these fidget spinners were great for kids that were on the autism spectrum because it could be used to soothe them, to calm them down. And, of course, these would be the kids that really, I mean, no child needs to be exposed to lead, but these kids really do not need to be exposed to anything that might uh, affect them in any sort of way negatively. Just a, just a really quick one before we let you go, uh, Kara. You guys, you really have managed to have a number of toys removed from shelves in the past. How are things going with the fidget spinners? Do you see any progress? Well, to be clear, not every fidget spinner has lead in it. Mm -hmm. So far, we've only found lead in the two um, fidget spinners that I described. Here's one of them, um, and then the other is uh, Fidget Wild uh, Metal. So those are the only two that I know of that have lead in them, uh, first of all. But um, as far as getting these two removed from the shelves, we're working on it. Unfortunately, Target told us they weren't going to do it. The Consumer Product Safety Commission, which is the government agency charged with removing the stuff from the shelves. They agreed with Target. They said, this stuff is for 14 and up. We don't we don't remove that from the shelves. So we're gonna appeal those decisions. We're gonna keep working with Target. Uh, hopefully Target cooperates and we can get the stuff off the shelves. Kara Cook-Schultz, thank you so much for joining us and thank you for the work that you're doing. Thank you for having me.